Hello everyone, and welcome to another install in my classic career mode here today around Jerez in Spain. So uh, this is the Spanish Grand Prix of my current, like, edited calendar, the custom calendar that I've got. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the last race. Uh, I certainly did, because it was very entertaining. Uh, hopefully this race can be as, as entertaining as the German Grand Prix, which was the last race. Uh, if you haven't already checked it out, and I'll give you a couple of seconds to go and check it out. Okay, you should have gone and checked that out now, so, uh, I did finish first in that Grand Prix somehow after, uh, after, after an absolute calamity of a start. So, uh, anyway, um, I will now hand over to the, uh, grid presentation for the start of the Grand Prix. Here we are then on the grid for the Spanish Grand Prix as we now have the red light, the green lights coming on even. We now have four lights, five lights, lights out and there we go for the Spanish Grand Prix here or the Jerez Grand Prix as we go off to an average start. Mansell for some reason just didn't want to go off the line and Irvine somehow is in first. So God knows that that happened. Uh, Colthard has gone around the outside of everyone. Uh, I'm three wide with my teammate and Mansell. As we go down the inside of Mansell and we've managed to get fourth there, I think. And now trying to go around the outside of our teammate Villeneuve, who has had a poor exit off that corner. As we go around the outside of him into this corner and we've now got third. So good start to Grand Prix there. Uh, moving on to lap six now. It's our pit stop, so not much happened after that. And uh, this, Thomas Fox, is how you take the pit entrance in Jerez. Um, in case you haven't seen... Fox Dude 98 at Jerez Grand Prix in his classic career mode. He cut that um, pit lane all the time. So uh, just thought I'd let you know that's how you actually take the pit lane entrance. Uh, as we get held up here by Colfard and Prost, I think that is. So we've been jumped by Prost and someone else. I think it was Mansell. I can't remember. Um, so uh, as we're now coming on to lap 15 now in for our next pit stop and again there's a um there's a example of what tom did in his classic career video <laughs> uh just just thought i'd do that you know, just, just to clear the air a bit um if you're now coming for our next pit stop a lap earlier than they said they wanted us to but uh, you know it was um i felt like i had to to get jump on people it was a 5.3 second pit stop that's the fastest pit stop i've seen so far in this career mode so uh, we now come out in eighth place uh, ahead of ralph schumacher i think that is so yeah, um, as we now come down the start finish line, ignore that exit of the hairpin there. Um, as we now come down the start finish line here, jumping our teammate, I think, just about, yeah, jumping our teammate, but somehow Schechter has managed to jump me and my teammate, even though I jumped my teammate. So, somehow that happened. Um, as we set a fastest sector on lap 18 here, we get a better exit through the, uh, or a better line through the chicane there, and we get managed to get Schechter there. Somehow he went off circuit. And anyway, moving on to lap 20 now, we've got a better exit off from the chicane again on Prost. As we go down the inside of Prost here, and we've managed to get third place back from him. So we're making gains now, we're, making, we're gaining some places now. Um, as we now have a good run on Coulthard here, but unfortunately we've gotten to the kerb. And we're off into the gravel, and Prost has got us back. So that was good. Uh, <laughs> ignore that for me. Uh, as we now go across the line, set a new fastest lap of the Grand Prix, which is a 120.3. So uh, it's not like we're going any, not, not, like we, not like we're going any slower. But uh, you know, as we now come across the line again to go five tenths faster, apparently, uh, with a 120.3. But for some reason, we're not catching the people ahead of us. So you know, um, as we're now coming in for our pit stop, our final pit stop of the Grand Prix, I think this is. So um, this should be a this should be a very important pit stop here. Um, as we uh, have Nigel Mansell behind us and Prost, so I don't know where I passed Prost actually. I missed that near Sorry about that. But um, anyway, coming out of the pit lane now, we've been held again, and we've been jumped by Prost again. So this is just getting an and wow, Irvine only just about manages to get past us there, Sh cutting it finally there. But uh, coming on to lap 27 now. Uh, Irvine goes into the pit lane, so he's um, obviously out of sync with everyone here. 
I mean, he was leading the Grand Prix at the first corner, so that shows how badly his Grand Prix has gone. Um, as we've now jumped Colthard, so <laughs> Prost has jumped me and Colthard, but I've jumped Colthard. This Grand Prix is weird for jumping people in the pit lane. As we set a new fastest lap again with the 1.19.2, um, as we now have a good run on lap 29 on Prost here with sparking your ways. We go down inside into the hairpin and that's second place for us. And now all we need to do is try and catch Nigel Mansell in first and we win the Grand Prix. Uh, moving on to laps 30 now. Closing in on him just about uh, as we come across the line to set a new fastest lap again with a 1.18.2. But uh, moving on to the final lap of the Grand Prix then. Unfortunately we never managed to catch Nigel Mansell uh, coming around the final corner. But um, I'll be fairly happy with second place because I never really had the pace in this Grand Prix anyway to catch it. So then the final standings for this Grand Prix are that Nigel Mansell wins from me from 2.2 2 seconds. So I closed in on him uh, and then he finished a further 10 seconds ahead of Alan Prost, who finished third, impressively. So uh, it's a good job from him. And uh, Gerhard Berger finished last, a whole minute and 11 seconds behind the leader. So <laughs> shows how much of a good Grand Prix he had. Villeneuve dropped down to sixth, so not the best end to a Grand Prix from him. Um, Eddie Irvine finished eighth. I mean, even worse from him, because he was leading the Grand Prix at the first corner. So uh, it's a very topsy-turvy Grand Prix. I don't know what was going on at that Grand Prix. I mean, Alan Prost finished from third, so I don't know what went on there. But uh, moving on now to the driver standings. Um, I'm still top by 15 points clear of Mansell, so it's getting a lot tighter here. Uh, it's probably going to be between me and Mansell for the uh, driver's standings. So, uh, you know, my teammates have over 100 points behind Mansell, so I very much doubt he'll catch up. But uh, moving on now to the Constructors Championship, I think we, we should still be top. Yeah, we're still top by 15 points. But uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time for Estoril, which is another classic track on this calendar. Goodbye!